Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green, manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombleys. Today, taking on Gillingham, or possibly Gillingham. Nobody knows for sure. It's like GIF and GIF. Lots of smart people disagree over how to pronounce the town of Gillingham, Gillingham. Very exciting game for us, though. Uh, we couldn't look at us. We just, we look happy. We look healthy. We're feeling fit. Um, we're feeling ready for this game. And uh, as you can see, our fans have crowded in. To the stadium today. I don't know if we're playing home or away, actually. It looks like we're playing home. A lot of blue shirts in the audience. Um, but to be fair, AFC Wimbledon travels well. Look at other John Green looking so handsome. I think that's him. Can we see the back of the shorts, please? Does anybody have a shot of the back of the shorts by chance? No, I guess not today. As you can see, we've got uh, Shea LaBeouf starting in goal. Uh, our midfield today, it's a Pirate's Dream, Parrot, and Beer. Uh, and then we've got uh, Dom Polion playing out on the left, uh, Frankenstein playing on the right, and then we've got Kelly and Charles as our central defenders. I'm excited about this lineup because it is a lineup that was recommended to me by many commenters. Thank you for your help. Uh, I know I suck at FIFA, but your generosity makes me better. And there I am, by the way, Usiasi manager himself with beautiful blue eyes staring deep, deep into your soul like a zombie. Anyway, I was talking with the boys before the game about the meaning of life or, and in the context of the meaning of football because it is uh, it's a silly thing that we're doing here, you know? And uh, a couple of the guys, especially, especially Tommy Beer... But also uh, Lyle Taylor, the Montserrat and Messi, a couple of the other guys as well. They're real, um, you know, it's possible to go through life without thinking particularly hard about the predicaments in which you find yourself. And I used to think that that was a bad way to go through life. But as I've gotten older, I I've started to feel very differently. Now I feel like uh, that's a fine way to go through life. And I'm no longer, I no longer feel like I'm in a position to judge anybody else's, uh, anybody else's life strategies. Um, and, uh, like I used to make fun of my friends. I have, I have a really good friend, for instance, who doesn't like sad movies. I used to make fun of her and say like, oh, you know, you're just ignoring the, um, you're just ignoring the real reality of life, um, and not engaging with it by not engaging with like sad or emotionally moving artwork or whatever. But now, oh God, I should have cleared my lines. But now I realize that we have Shayla Buff, thank goodness. Now I realize that like there's just it's it's just not my place to judge other people's uh, or at least I don't feel like it's my place to judge other people's way of getting through this veil of tears. Um, there's a lot of good ways to do it. So anyway, point being, a lot of the players on the team, to be perfectly honest with you, are not people who think deeply about their life situations. They just aren't. Um, but then you got players like Lyle Taylor who really do. I mean. Uh, and and they're always asking me questions about about this stuff and reading reading about it and the, one of the big questions that's come up in the last few weeks of training is well what is the point of hey Henry what do you need help with um, next time I fight this round um, yeah can you help me well I can't help you right now because I'm playing FIFA you I see know. I know you got to wait till the end of my game because I is. Okay. Um, but I, I will help you when I finish. Are you playing Star Skylanders Battlecast? Yeah. Oh man, you would have a great, very successful gaming channel, Henry. Do you ever, do you ever want to make YouTube gaming videos? <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't. I'm playing. I can't take my eyes off the screen. I'm, I'm out of possession right now. Gillingham has the ball. It's a very tense moment. I'm passing out of the back like a fool. Okay, make a John Green, make a run. Okay, or you make a run. That'll, that's also acceptable. John Green, make a run. Oh, Henry, Henry, we're going to cross it into the box, which is our standard strategy. Oh, it's good. It's good, but then I got fouled, but I was unjustly maligned. Are you familiar, Henry, with feeling that the game is not fair to you? It's a feeling that I have a lot in my life. Anyway, I was just talking about what the meaning of life is, Henry. What do you think the meaning of life is? Oh, it's magnificent. Oh, Henry, did you see that goal? Who won? I won. You're I just scored a goal. You want to watch it in slow motion? Look at that. Other John Green with a magnificent turn and then, oh, go near post on that keeper. What do you think? Good. I agree. Good. I'm pretty sure that was Other John Green. Let's double check. Yes. Henry, do you know the song I sing for Other John Green? He's big, he's tough, he has a ginger puff. Other John Green, Other John Green. You like it? Yeah, I like it too. It's a good one. It's a, it's a hit song. 
Um, Henry's also here playing video games, by the way. Uh, so I don't know the. Uh, I was talking. I was talking with the guys about the the point of of soccer because it is like it's a you know it's a kids game, and um, we are playing it. It's partly because we just earlier in the season before our season technically started, we won this made up tournament, and afterwards I was t- I, I I don't want the guys to feel like they've had a successful season before the season even begins you know like so i was like you know that was a made-up tournament that's not how we're judging our that's not how we're going to judge our season that's not how we're going to you know determine whether or not we are successful this year and they were like but isn't it all a made-up tournament ultimately yeah you're fighting a doom raider that sounds very serious so anyway, Lyle Taylor was like, isn't, isn't it all a made-up season? You know, like, ultimately, aren't all the competitions made up? Like, the FA Cup isn't real. And, oh, if that had only been a better cross. We had Tommy Beer running in a pirate's dream. Uh, but it didn't work out for him. So, uh, you know, like, it's all, it's all made up, like, right? Like, the rules are made up. You're playing, uh, it, it's a made-up idea that you have to, uh, you know, get the ball into a net without using your hands. It's all constructed. Uh, and I think the issue that we're having in these conversations where I don't, look, I, my priority, obviously, is to have players who don't think too much about what role football plays in human life unless it motivates them effectively. I, I, I want to win games. Dad, yes, Henry. Dad, I'm going to punch a Google in the face. Are you serious? Yeah! Oh, man, I hope that goes okay. Oh, big time save from Shea LaBeouf. Big time. Big time. Shea LaBeouf showing that he is the real deal and then almost a great release pass, and then that is a great release pass, and then get that ball to ball, John Green. Oh, oh, he's open. 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 Go! Oh, he went for the he went for the finesse shot, Meredith. I went for the finesse shot and it didn't work. It's a little frustrating. A little fr- did you get hurt? Did you get hurt in Skylanders? I ch- probably should have gone for a more finesse finesse shot. All right, I've, so I've been instructed to hold down the ball a little longer to make it. Yes, that's much better. Turn, 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 turn. You're John Green. Oh. He's a good finisher, but just in that particular situation, his finish left a little bit to be desired. It was close, though. It was close. I feel like, in general, the Wimbly Womblies are starting to play a more attractive style of football, thanks partly to your comments. So anyway, in these conversations about... Oh, no. It's a disaster. Oh, really, really bad defending there. In these conversations about what the meaning of life is. I think the conclusion that we have come to as a club, you know, like AFC Wimbledon, not, not that I'm necessarily saying like, this is the only conclusion. That was a nice back heel, but it was all for nothing, but that's really good. That's really, really good from ball. John green, great interception. He's playing strong defensively. And I like that. I like when he, uh, you know, I like ball John green when he's aggressive like that. Um, go for, go, go to the ball. Mm, mm, probably not a great uh, we're just going to clear our lines here okay um now well, that didn't come to anything and now it's halftime Henry it's halftime what can I look at your Skylanders battle cast real quick while it's halftime are, are you having fun playing he, he thinks he likes he thinks he's um he thinks um he's he's, he's famous he thinks he's famous yeah, like, how can you tell Oh, because of the way he winks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's this whole series of, like, backstories to Skylanders that I don't know very well, but I'm in the process of learning from Henry. Um, So, anyway, I think that the meaning of life is constructed. And, like, it's sometimes helpful to have limitations set on your... uh, on the way you construct meaning. Uh, Like, I think it's sometimes helpful to say there will be a rule that you can't use your hands. Why? Well, there's no real, like, innate reason why that rule exists. It's just that we have noticed that with that rule, things are more fun. That is a nice ball, but a really bad run. And that that is on me. That is entirely on manager OCUC uh, and his poor use of the controls there. Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Chillingham opening us wide open. But fortunately... It was a nice last second uh, bit of defending there. Um, and then that's going to be a good pass. And then open him up. Open it up. Okay, run. 
Oh, oh, but we've got cover. We've got cover. Oh. Get it. Get it. Oh, it's a magnificent goal. Through the middle. It's other John Green with his second goal of the game. It's beautiful. Look at this hold-up play. And then a pass instead of shooting at the edge of the box. And then a nutmeg goal. I nutmeg the defender at wall score. Oh, you've been humiliated. Oh, oh, hang your head in shame, Gillingham, Gillingham. Two goals for John Green uh, in, in this game, and really two beautiful ones, it must be said. Very, very proud. So anyway, I think meaning in life is constructed. I don't think that it is innate, probably. But I also don't think it really matters, because something that's constructed can be real. Like my... Uh, my religion teacher used to tell me about uh, constructs in religion. Uh, he, he used to say, people say that things that are constructed aren't real, but this table was constructed, and if I hit you with it, it will hurt. Um, and I think that's true. Come on, come on, come on! Oh! You know what? That, that, crossing, that crossing from the corners thing, I'm going to try to do less of. We're going to do more patient. We're going to do more of what we did. We just pass it within the box, you know... We're a precision team. We're a fine-tuned, well-oiled machine. We don't need to be this, like, you know, constantly... Oh, boy. That wasn't very good. No. Nah, no. Nah. Oh, that's nice, though. That was very nice. And then you turn, and then you get tackled. Probably should have done a little hold-up play like I promised I was going to do more of. Um, so, I... It, so to me, like the thing that makes soccer beautiful and interesting is that we are making the meaning up as we go along. And like, yes, none of it means anything uh, innately, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't mean anything. It just means that the meaning it, it comes from us, uh, from our belief in it rather than uh, from some outside source. Now, lots of people find something, feel like something sad about that or feel like something like it's less real somehow because we made it up. But I don't feel that way at all. Like, I feel like when we win, if we win, uh, in the past when we've won, for instance, the FA Cup, it feels as real to me as anything. It feels as real to me as, like, things that are supposedly really real. Um, and, and, and in the end, it's, that, it, it's the experiential quality of realness that makes it real, I think. Um, now, lots of philosophers would disagree with me about that, but I, I'm, I'm pretty convinced of it at this point. And that's the point I was trying to make to Lyle Taylor before the game. I think that, yes, even though there is no technical meaning um, in any of, uh, any of our exploits here, they still matter. Uh, they matter because we have chosen to allow them to matter to each other and because we do uh, truly deep down matter to each other. Uh, you know, the people you love and care about and fight with and, um, and, and, and go through life with, those people, th those, that, that is really real, like objectively real. And, um, you know, and if sports is part of how you do that, then I think that's awesome. I think more power to you. Um, and here comes Meadsy on a marauding run. That's the only thing you can say about it. Meadsy. 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 He seized ball John Green, and then that's a terrible cross. I think it was actually a corner kick. No. It's been determined that it wasn't a corner kick, which I find deeply offensive. On behalf of Meadsy, I am offended. He would never, ever do that. Um, but I tell you what, I love that run. Now, I've been criticized a lot in comments for my, um, my playing. I mean, I am a terrible FIFA player. I'll be the first to admit that. But for my uh, playing only on the near side of the field. But you guys have to understand how poor my vision is. Uh, it's out here on the far side of the field. I can barely even see those guys, but I'm going to try. I, I just, I ran the ball out of bounds because I can't see where the line is. All right. That's what happens when I do it over there. That's worse. That's way worse. All right. We are in, uh, we, we, we at this point, you've got to say we've got the game wrapped up. I mean, although if we keep doing that, we, we might, uh, we might be able to let Gillingham right back in, but, um, I love the way we've played this game in general. Right there, passing out of the back. Big time. Big time back pass. This is really bad. That's better. And then that's very good. And then it's Pollyon on the ball. Here he goes. Here he goes. Marauding. Through to John Green. John Green marauding. Oh, he's big and strong, but he's apparently not as strong enough. And then he, made, he almost made a bad tackle. 
I hit the X button to make an unnecessary slide tackle in frustration, and that could have been an easy red card, but fortunately it wasn't. We win the game 2-0. Goals from John Green and John Green. We made up that this matters, but that doesn't mean that it does that it, that but that doesn't mean it doesn't matter. Sorry, I'm double negative. Very challenging. In the next episode, hopefully you'll see me acquire some new players. Uh, keep your suggestions coming for players I can acquire, especially players I might be able to acquire in the January transfer window. Thank you again for watching uh, and supporting via your ad, uh, ad views AFC Wimbledon in real life. Best wishes.